Hi Jeff. Hi Jeff. Uh, after talking to you on the phone, I thought I would just show you what I, um, the ideas I have that would help you. You're talking with your aches and pains. You were saying that um, due to the Achilles injury, uh, when you're out walking, sometimes you put your you can put your foot down in a funny way, and it will send shooting pains up, which then really aggravate the old um, the surgery from the hip replacement and into the lower back. So I have a few ideas for you and uh, it shouldn't take very long but I just thought I would demonstrate on the floor. First of all if you get those out I remember giving these to you um, flip it must be about 10 years ago I, I, I'm just thinking was it a, a calf injury calf strain maybe calf tight tightness back then so these are just good for stimulating the feet I would do these against the wall, but as I'm just demonstrating here in the middle of the room, just to get you started, I just do one foot at a time. It's probably a lot safer since you've got your injury, your Achilles is healing. So one foot flat on the floor, the other one starting from the heel, push into your heel and press the heel into the weaker and then toes down to the floor. And just do that a couple of times. If I turn to the side, you see a bit better. And then start to move the foot, rolling, the foot over the start of the waker and just slowly moving the whole way along the foot so you're lifting your foot and placing the foot back down an inch or so further down the foot each time so now we're getting into the ball of the foot and you'll get a different stretch in each position and then right onto the toes Now, just being mindful, um, which would be fine on, on the good side, the side where the injury is, the Achilles, just um, making sure you're not going to aggravate the injury. The, all of this, though, I think will, will work with the exercises you've been given. Okay, so starting from the heel and then working back. I always do both sides, even though one side's injured. I think it's good to keep both sides of the body fully functioning and then bring the foot up onto the ball, the ball of the foot onto the weaker and then on the toes, heel to the floor. Really nice stretch on your feet. Now um, to improve your gait, uh, if I just remember correctly uh, Jeff with you in the past you've been a little bit flat footed, I think I remember seeing that before. So for you, um, you want to try and lift the arches of your feet and try and, if you think about your footprint in the sand, you, you, there, there's a space for the arches and it should just be the heel outside edge of the foot and then the pad of the foot and then you're pushing off your toe to big toe to finish. So it's like your big toe is the last part on the floor before you push off. Um, and a good way of doing, of, of strengthening this is to just really keep massaging that outside edge of the foot. So I would use this maybe with a tennis ball, exact same thing that you just did uh, with the waker, but you can, you, you can use a tennis ball or a squash ball or a, a golf ball and work your whole way back along to the big toe. I would do that a few times. This just really starts to strengthen up what's that edge of the foot. Whenever you're walking, it makes you more aware of putting your foot down there. I would even turn the sole of the foot in if this is okay on your Achilles and just roll the outside edge of the foot. That'd be easier to see on the other side. So again, outside edge of the foot, starting at the heel, pressing all your weight down massaging the whole way to the little toe. Do that a few times. And then I was saying that you could um, turn oops, the sole of the foot in, turning the sole of the foot in and just rolling up and down the outside edge like that. Good. Now your feet should feel really good after that. Nice on the circulation. Like heel, outside edge of the foot, 
Walking like that. So your big toe is the last part to push off. Okay, let's just practice. Um, so then you were saying with the pain coming into the into the hip itself. So I would use a football, a football. You could use anything from a football's quite big. I would probably use this green size is the perfect size, I find. If you've got a ball like that at home. And um, so you're sitting on the ball and just doing some circles, circling into the into the into the buttock really, you know, that, that's what you're aiming for. I would just do big circles. Like you were saying, th this area just gets tight when it's irritated, it's gonna tighten up and get sore. So you're just trying to improve the circulation here. It's actually good for bone density, but you might find it's a little bit tender wherever your stitches are. Anyway. Feel free to roll around on that for as long as you like. It's really good at loosening everything up. Uh, you could even also do the top of the leg, the hamstring is. Just stretch that leg out in front and roll down the leg a little bit, loosening up the, the top of the, the um, hamstring attachments are too and this should also just feel nice on the circulation right back up into the glutes circling around the glute you could come on to the side you know it could also um it might be the it band that's getting tight as well and you can when you're lying on your side if you're using the mat you want to have your body um parallel with the outside edge and then you're sorry you're, you're creeping in that direction so you roll down a little bit and just roll across, back and forwards across the IT band, like this, and down the leg. So you could try that on both sides. So get the ball circling, oh, oh, circling into the buttock area, the glutes, big circles. Moving right up to where the hip is and right down, right over to the sciatic area and then right down to the, the hamstring attachments are and then moving across, listening up the tops of the legs. Should feel really nice on the legs. It's like a massage, deep tissue massage that you can do yourself at home. Lying on your side, rolling down from the hip down towards the knee, IT band. You always find a few tight spots along there. And then lower back, I'll just use this ball so you can see a little bit better, but you could just hold the ball here and press back into it. So I've got the ball on my right side this i've got the sacrum and then the ball is on the right side of that so into the lower back on the right side i'm not sure which side it is your injury is on or your your hip replacement was so this might help just pressing here and releasing and it's also a little bit of core gentle core work and i would do both sides to balance everything out and then right into the middle of the lower back there you go so if you i could go on and on there's lots of, of nice things you can go from here you can roll up the whole of the back you can do nice core work on your stomach but that's something to get you started so you could try those and then let me know um, how you get on with that. So anyway, hope that helps. Thank you.